Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is Friday afternoon. It is time to review the Hot 10 list from CBSI. I'm not real impressed with the list this week. I don't think there's too much on there that I care for. Um, it's kind of a weird list. I don't know. But these are the books that happen to be moving this week, um, according to CBSI. Books that are perhaps moving on eBay. Who knows? But let's take a look at it real quick. Uh, number, well, honorable mention number one is Santa Claus Funnies number two. Classic Santa Claus cover. Um, they like to put some of these old books on here. This is, looks like a 10 center, uh, 7.5, <coughs> excuse me, a 7.5 sold for $2,600 this week. Um, eight, uh, 15 to 18 times the Overstreet price guide. So... Yeah, I don't know why anyone pays it. I, I don't know anyone that buys an Overstreet Price Guide. I, I think the last time I bought one was like 1985. <laughs> so there, those price guides have, haven't been relevant uh, in decades. I don't know why anyone cares to look at them. Uh, the only thing that matters is eBay, Comic Link, Heritage Auctions, things like that. If you want to see pricing on something, that's, that's what you have to look at. Uh, Overstreet is literally outdated. It's like looking at an 18th century map to determine where you're going to go in Europe. It doesn't make any sense. So in my opinion, um, Overstreet had its day, it, you know, back in the day before the internet, before online auctions and eBay and all that stuff. I think it was probably the only source of, way, of a way to gather data on pricing information. Uh, and remember, Overstreet was Basically, the guy that, whatever his name was, I can't remember who the editor of Overstreet, but he would basically call a bunch of shops and get pricing on what certain books sold for. Very, very inaccurate way of, of having a price guide to begin with. So, uh, yeah, it's a cool cover. I like it. I mean, nothing I would spend $2,600 on, but uh, I can see why people might be into that. The other one on the list here for honorable mention is Batman Vengeance of Bane number one. Classic story by Chuck Dixon, artist Graham Nolan. Um, yeah, it's a cool cover. Fantastic cover by Graham Nolan. Um, I'm sorry, that's not Graham Nolan cover. That's a, a, a Glenn Fabry cover. Art, art inside is by Graham Nolan. So beautiful cover by Glenn Fabry. One of the best covers of that era, in my opinion. Definitely a marquee book. I have a, I have one in my collection. I think I paid fifty dollars for it. It's definitely a near mint copy. Probably a nine four nine six, but a nine eight is selling around seven twenty five right now. Uh, double from the start of the year. Yeah, everything comic book wise is going insane right now. Especially anything graded nine eight. Uh, the reason for this is the sports card market has entered the comic book market. A lot of guys that collect sports cards are now collecting comic books and artificially driving the prices up to extreme levels. Um, lots of reports of that going on right now, especially if you pay attention to like heritage auctions and some of these auction sites. They've reported that the comic book collectors are not the ones doing the buying lately. It's been, it's been the sports card people. So this is a cool looking book. Uh, I have one in my collection. I actually act actually have it signed and personalized by Chuck Dixon. Uh, Chuck Dixon lives in the area where I live. Um, I met him at the bank. I was working at a bank and he, uh, he was one of the, cu the customers of the bank. So I got to meet him personally, nice guy. He signed a bunch of stuff for me and that was one of the books that he personally signed for me, which is kind of cool. All right, number 10 on the list is Blackjack Demon number one. I know nothing about this book. I've never seen it. Uh, never even heard of the publishing company, but it's selling around $15 to $20. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no comment on this. It's nothing. I, I don't know anything about it. It's one of those weird, obscure, independent books, I guess. Number nine is Basilisk. Number one, the... Jonas Scharf, Virgin Variant, one per store. I did see that that sold out in Midtown. I think Midtown had it for like $60, $60 or $70. Uh, here they're saying it's selling for $40 plus. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's an okay. I don't think it's a great cover. I think the best cover was the Alberque cover by far, and I think that was only a 1 in 25. Um, so this is going to be a little bit more of a rare variant since it's only one per store. I don't know how many comic book stores are in America. Two, three thousand, four thousand. Hard to say right now. I'm not too sure. Number eight is Wonder Woman Future State number one. The Joel Jones. I think that's the regular A cover. I think there is a B cover on that book as well. Uh, it's selling, looks like $25 or more. Um... Yeah, I think I ha I think I did buy that one. I'm pretty sure I have both covers. Um, I think it's the first appearance of the new, maybe that new Wonder Woman. I think this, is that one of the reasons why it's doing well? I'm not too sure. Uh, it says, unlike the Thor number two above, the free preview is not the same situation as this, so don't try and compare them. Okay, whatever. Number seven is Black Panther number 22. Um, first... Killmonger, Killmonger as Black Panther. It says, I would give this chances of happening around 10% chance or less. If it happens, then those buying it at the current $50 mark will look like geniuses. Otherwise, they could have spent a nice weekend on a baseball game this weekend. Uh, yeah, didn't Killmonger die in the Black Panther movie? Pretty sure he's dead, so I don't know why anyone would think that the Black Panther is going to be become the new... or The Killmonger is going to become the new Black Panther... Makes no sense at all. He's already dead in the comic book film, so I don't think he'll return. Number six is Red Thorn number one. Kind of a cool cover. Megan Het uh, Hetrick, I think, is the artist. Um, cover price book, Vertigo. It's now selling into $30 to $40 range. Uh, I guess, is this coming out on HBO? I think one of the... Oh, it says here, the property was optioned for some BBC network or something. Doesn't matter. Flip this if you have it. Yeah, I totally agree. Don't buy this right now. If you have it and, and have bought it for cover price, this is the time to sell it. Um, I don't think a BBC network TV show is, has any heat to it at all. But uh, yeah, I would, I would definitely sell that if you have it. Number five is X-Men number 53. First appearance of Onslaught. Ben says, I have no idea why Onslaught is selling, but the price has moved from $10 up to $25 to $30. Nine eights hit $400 when it was only $175 a week ago. So there probably, there's probably some YouTube spec show on it. Um, somebody's pushing this on one of the YouTube channels, I bet. Tales from the flip side, I don't know. One of those YouTube channels is probably putting some speculation on it. That, that can drive it, at least in the short term. I don't really watch any of those spec shows anymore because everything they recommend um, is only hot for about a week or two and then it goes right back down. And it's only hot for a week or two because of them mentioning it on a YouTube channel, which does have you know a fair amount of subscribers that follow the channel. Um, but you know it's usually it's usually strange speculate. You know I don't know it's. it's it's stuff like this, onslaught. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that that villain will show up in a future in, you know, MCU film. I don't, probably unlikely. Number four is Action Comics number eight ninety four. Uh, I guess was this an appearance of Death? She's on the cover. Not her first appearance in the DC universe, though. That one is Captain Adam number forty two. Uh, I guess this is just a cover that she's on. Maybe first cover appearance. Maybe that's the reason, but uh, $50 book right now. Number three is Amazing Spider-Man 565. Um, selling around $25 raw. Looks like it's the first appearance of Anna Kravinoff. Was that Craven's daughter, maybe? Is that what it is? Sounds about right. Craven's daughter. Nine eights have been selling around 600 to 1000 and nine six. Sold uh, for about $150. Ben says, I don't hate the speculation portion of it, but trying to explain the price disparity is like saying that tenant was easy to understand. <laughs> the timeline is disingenuous. Yes, the tenant movie that was, it was a good movie, but yeah, it was. I had to watch it a couple times to sort of figure out what was going on there. 
Number two is Thor. Number two, Jason Aaron's run. Um, yeah, I really don't like artist Russell Dodderman. I don't think his art is that great. Um, not not my favorite run of Thor for sure. But that book is on the move, uh, fifty to sixty dollars. Um, ben says this first full thing in is kind of dumb. She is Thor right there on the cover of number one, <laughs> like every variant too, and has the entire last page where she is named Thor. What else do you want? Yeah, all right. Yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, why would number two be considered first full Thor? Um, I, I totally agree. I think the first issue is the first full. So I, I know I have the first issue. I don't think I have number two. But if you do have it and you pay cover price, this would definitely be a good time to list it and get it sold. Number one is Invincible Number One, Robert Kirkman, Corey Walker. Um, definitely a low print run book for its time. Imi you know the early days is you know somewhat early days of Image. Or this was the the these were the days of Image when Image couldn't sell books. I mean basically you had Spawn, uh, Jim Lee had left. There was kind of a cratering at Image uh, until The Walking Dead really took off. Uh, and this was one of those books that just had a low print run. Not a lot of people were paying attention to it. And there is a cartoon on it now, so that's kind of driving interest in it. But 298 sold this week, one for 6150. And another one sold for 7,000. Pretty high. Uh, the previous all time high was back in April at 3,600. So, yeah. I can't stress this strong enough if you own that book right now and it's high grade get it graded and sell it if you own a 98 put that puppy on ebay right now <laughs> this is the time to sell it uh, a year ago it was a thousand dollar book so in, in, that's in 98 condition so unbelievable that the book has gone up that much um i wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for it let alone seven thousand so I'm not a big Rob, Robert Kirkman fan. I don't think the book is all that important. Um, seven grand, I think that is a highly unwise decision <laughs> to spend that much for that book. I would rather buy an old silver key. For $7,000, I could buy a really nice Silver Age key with that money. Oh boy. So yeah, I'm not real impressed with this list of books. I don't really like any of them, to be honest. I don't think any of them are any good. The only one I liked was the Batman Vengeance of Bane, which I own. I think it's a great book. And uh, I think raw copies of that book are still undervalued. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't care for any of these books. <laughs> I don't see one on here that I have any interest in. So that's it, guys. Um, not a real impressive list. This week by CBSI, I'm not real impressed with it. I don't care for a lot of the books on the list. Um, hopefully next week will be much better. Uh, there is a couple really cool exclusives coming out. There's one tonight from Izzy's Comics. Um, let me see if I can... You know, I'll just go to... Um, let me go to Instagram real quick. I'll go to Chasing Comics. He's always got all these things listed. My good friend Infamous. Um, yeah, I think this cover is going to do well. That is the homage to the Nirvana Nevermind album. One of my favorite albums of all time uh, by far is Nirvana's Nevermind. That is a fantastic album. Definitely one of the best alternative albums of all time, in my opinion. So, you know, there's been a lot of homages to this album cover. It's been done before. Um, I just think, yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool looking cover. Uh, the artist is Yvonne Jordan. Comes up for sale tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Izzy, Izzy's Comics and Collectibles is the website. 7 o'clock, so make sure you check that out. There's only going to be 500 for sale. Uh, it is going to be priced really low, only $10. So I'm going to pick up at least a couple copies. 
I think that that book will easily triple or, you know, I think it'll be a $40, $50 book pretty quickly. It's pretty limited to only 500 copies, and I think a lot of people dig that cover. So I'm usually right. I mean, usually I'm pretty good on spot on when it comes to covers, and I think that one's going to be hot. So I'm going to pick up a couple copies tonight, especially it's only 10 bucks a copy. That's pretty cheap, and I do expect it to sell out pretty quickly. Um, so 7 o'clock tonight, set your alarm. I think that will... I think that will sell out at some point tonight. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I know there's a couple other exclusives. Some Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man. That one looks interesting. Uh, there's a couple interesting ones coming out this weekend. Um, this was a big one that I had highlighted on my Instagram page the other day. Uh, this is the Santa Fung Department of Truth number 10 exclusive. The Bigfoot cover. I'm a big, big Bigfoot fan. I love the mythology of Bigfoot. Uh, I'm one of those weird people that thinks that he actually might be, that he actually might exist. <laughs> one of those strange people. I visited a Bigfoot museum in Georgia, uh, which was pretty cool, uh, up near Blue Ridge. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just a cool cover. I like it. It's, I'm a Bigfoot fan, so that one sold out pretty quickly. It was limited to only 333 copies. I think it sold out in just like five minutes or less uh, this past Wednesday. So make sure you're following at, at least uh, Infamous's Instagram page, Chasing Comics. That one you definitely need to follow. He's more on top of these exclusives than I am. Uh, if you follow my Instagram, I'm just going to highlight what I'm going to buy. Yeah, that's typically what I do. I'm going to show you what I'm interested in. Um, Chasing Comics is going to show you everything. So uh, either way, you follow either one of us. I think you'll do okay if you do that. That's all I had for you guys. It's Friday. Hope you guys had a great week. Uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm sorry I didn't get to do my live stream last night. Um, maybe I'll do one this weekend. I, I am heading out of town on Sunday for a little getaway with the family. So I might I might have time for a live stream, you know, either tonight, later tonight, or I might do it on Saturday. Um, I just didn't. I just ran out of time yesterday, and I had other things going on, so. Apologize to anybody who was waiting for that. Um, hope you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you soon.